All right, we need to complete the unit for uh, section 8.6. Not only do you need to solve for y, but you also need to find three solutions. Well, three solutions to a linear equation are just three points. So I'll show you how to do that. Well, first step is to solve for y. Notice the if necessary. This is already solved for y. The y is already by itself with a coefficient of 1, so we don't need to do that step. Move on to the next part. Find three solutions. A line has an infinite number of points or solutions on it. We're always going to use in our example the values of x is 0, x is 1, and x is 2. The first number is the x value and the second number that we're going to find is the y value. So you can pick any x's you want, but I'm always going to use 0, 1, and 2 because those are the easier numbers to work with. So what you do is you replace the x in the equation with 0 and solve for y. So y equals 3 minus 5 times 0 because for this solution x is 0. Remember the order of operations. Multiplication comes first, so that gives me 3 minus 0, or 3. So the y value is 3, and we'll put it here in that point. So one of the solutions to that line is the point 0, 3. We need to find two more because it said to find three solutions. So now I'm going to substitute x is 1. So 3 minus 5 times 1. Notice the only thing that changed was where the x was. I replaced it this time with a 1. Do the multiplication first. So 3 minus 5 and then subtract and you get negative 2 for y. So put your negative 2 here. When x is 1, y is negative 2 and that point is one of the solutions to that line. Okay, let's find one more point and that would be when we substitute x is 2. So y equals 3 minus 5 times 2. Do the multiplication first, so that's 3 minus 10. Do the subtraction, you get negative 7. And write it as a point. So for this lesson, you need to solve the equation for y if necessary, and then find three solutions. The solutions are found by substituting the x with 0, 1, and 2. Okay, let's do example 2. Notice this equation is not solved for y, so we need to get the y by itself. The first step is always to get rid of the x term by either adding or subtracting. Notice here, we'll subtract because x is positive. So subtract x from both sides, and the x's will cancel on the left. y equals these are not like terms, so write down 6 minus x. Notice the number in front of the y is a 1, so we're done with that, that step. It's now solved for y. We now need three solutions. Recall that I'm going to use x values of 0, 1, and 2. You can use any x values you want, but I'm going to stick with those. So take each of these values and substitute it in for x, to get the corresponding y. So y equals 6 minus, in place of x, I'm going to put the 0. Well, that didn't have any multiplication to do. Just do the subtraction, and the y is 6. So the solution, or one of the points on that line, is the point 0, 6. We'll substitute in 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5, so the point 1, 5 is also a solution to this line. And now we'll find one more, so I'll plug in x is 2. So 6 minus 2 equals 4. So the point 2, 4 is also a solution to that line. Okay, let's get a little more complicated equation. Again, it's not solved for y, so you've got to get the y by itself by getting rid of the x term. The x term again is positive, so I'm going to subtract it from both sides to get rid of it. This is a negative y, or remember it's really just a negative 1y. 
These are not like terms, so just write them down. 6 minus 3x. The number in front of the y isn't 1, it's negative 1, so you need to divide everything by negative 1. The negative 1's cancel, and you get y equals, well, 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3x. Okay, now your equation is solved for y. What we want to do now is substitute in those values of 0, 1, and 2 for the x and come up with the corresponding y value. So the first one, y equals negative 6 plus 3 times 0. Remember multiplication first, so that equals negative 6 plus 0, which is just negative 6. So the point 0, negative 6 is one of the solutions. Continue by substituting in x is 1. y equals negative 6 plus 3 times 1. Do the multiplication first. Negative 6 plus 3. That gives you negative 3. So another solution is the point 1, negative 3. Finally, let's substitute in 2. Negative 6 plus 3 times 2. Multiplication first. Negative 6 plus 6 just gives you 0. So the point 2, 0 is also a solution. Let's do one more example. Notice I've changed the problem slightly from your notes. I've made the x term negative. What we want to do here is, again, get rid of the x term. So since it's negative, we're going to add 3x to both sides. The x terms cancel on the left. So 4y equals not like terms on the right, so just bring them down, 15 plus 3x. The y is not by itself. It has a coefficient of 4, so divide by 4. The y's cancel here to give you, the 4's cancel, pardon me, to give you y equals. These do not divide evenly, so just leave them in fraction form. So 15 divided by 4 is 15 fourths plus 3 divided by 4 is 3 fourths x. Now when you make your points, you'll want your points to be decimal values so that when you graph them in the next lesson, you'll have an approximation to where they are. So again, we're going to plug in 0, 1, and 2. So y equals 15 fourths plus 3 fourths times 0. Multiplication first, that's going to give you 15 fourths plus 0, which is just 3.75. And we'll leave it 3.75. Plug in 1. 15 fourths plus 3 fourths times 1 is going to give you 18 over 4, which is 4.5. And the last one, 15 fourths plus 3 fourths times 2, that's going to give you 21 over 4, which is going to be 5.5. And those are the three solutions to this line.